Oh, okay. What's up, everyone? Um, this is part two of my make a brawlhalla do make a brawlhalla texture pack tutorial. My that's my bad. Um, in this episode, we're going going to be going over how you're going to use your SWF viewer, uh, to actually access your brawlhalla uh, what's it called? Your brawlhalla files. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, so I just moved all my stuff into this brawl holla modding thing here so that uh, I just takes up less space on, on my desktop also uh, I don't know if I include, included it in my last video but you're going you're prob prob probably gonna want GIMP if you want to make anything I mean if you have Photoshop that's entirely fine but uh, I prefer GIMP because it's free and does the same exact thing so uh, go ahead and open up your JPEX flash D flash decompiler uh, uh, I opened up. Let me close some things on here. I am currently teaching myself how to make a sound pack. Uh, I'm thinking about turning this from a texture pack tutorial into an all around Brawlhalla, mo uh, Brawlhalla modding tutorial so that I can c c cover all the things that I would like to, such as that. So I might change the name on my other tutorials back I'll leave those the same and I'll just uh so yeah um first thing you're, you're going to want to know how, how to do is access your brawlhalla files in case you don't know how, how to do that um you're going to want to open up just your files explorer uh cause you, you need to find those first because this is much uh less user friendly to use their file explorer uh, the default location is you go to this pc your lo your local disk pro uh, for me it's program files time I'm CD6 it might be in just your pro your program files then you're going to go down until you find your steam there they should be in, in al alphabetical order and then you're going to scroll down until you find your steam apps and then from here you want to go to common and then here's all of your your in installed games that steam boots off of you're gonna want to go to Brawlhalla now this is where all of your files are, so that's where we're going to be working out of. Uh, they changed it recently, like they said they were going to, which is why this took so long. And I also kind of accidentally formatted my PC. So yeah, that happened. Uh, that's also why it's been in delayed. So this is your uh, all, all the Brawlhalla sounds. Um, this is everything else in Brawlhalla. E everything you actually see. So yeah, that's how you're going to get there. And I sh showed you that so we can do it here so you're gonna press your uh, open button okay first of all on this thing you're gonna need need maybe t two buttons three buttons you're, you're gonna need your open your save you might need your reload and that should really be it I haven't touched anything else I haven't needed anything else uh, yeah so that's all you're gonna need out of your bar here so you open uh, so you should start you over here on the desktop. You need to click your drop down button, go down to this PC, go to local disk. It's the same exact thing you did, just less user friendly. Program files times 86 for me. Scroll all the way over till you find Steam again in alphabet in alpha uh, alphabetical order. Uh, then you're gonna go to your Steam apps. Co uh, common. This is where all of your games are. Um, Brawlhalla, and then you're going to it just ignore this if it's popping up. Uh, Brawlhalla, and then for your texture pack, the first thing I'm go going to teach you what uh, how to do is change your loading screen. Uh, I do like how they changed it, they made everything a lot more organized. That's the one complaint I had with the Brawl, bra uh, with bra try and mod brawlhalla was everything was just kind of thrown everywhere so now uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll over and it should be in ui underscore one is where you, you want to go okay first of all from this point out i do not condone anything you do with the uh, information that i am going going in to give you i have talked to the devs about this the devs are perfectly fine with me doing this i did have a comment on the last video saying something about it the only things I 
will not mess with and I highly ask you not to mess with is anything that the that the Brawlhalla devs make their cash off of so what I'm saying is their cosmetics how your character looks uh, your KO effects that are in here um, anything like that they're trying that they're trying to earn their wages off of if you're gonna make it for yourself uh, I don't see a problem with it just don't go and give it out to everyone because then they're not going to be spending their cash on Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is a great game it's 100% free for everyone to play and j that's just not that's straight up just stealing from people that have worked so hard to get to where they are now so Okay, now that that's out of the way, we're going to go, and that's for every video. I don't want to have to repeat that ramble from now on. So, we're going to go to ui underscore one dot swf. This should be where it is. I was just looking in case I'm a moron and absolutely forgot. Okay, this is all of your pictures. So, you can scroll down. It's going to take forever and a half. Just kind of press the, the down arrow key. That'll move you down nine frames. I don't know what's in there, but uh, you'll see a lot, lot out of stuff that looks the exact same as everything else. What's up? Oh, I, I accidentally moved into more shapes. Yeah, I gotta click here first. Okay, so you'll see a lot of stuff that looks the exact same. Okay, this is not working for me. It was working before. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to do click over here. Hold on, let me see, make sure that's going right. Yeah, okay, so if you click on the bar, that's what I was doing before, it will move you. Okay, so you'll see a little out of things that look the exact same. Uh, there was an example I had. It might have been in the other file, and I'm just a moron. Like this right here. Uh... So if you scroll over a like your menus or anything in Brawlhalla, they'll like light up and such. They have to put all of those files in here. So you're gonna find everything that has to do with that in here, except the actual code that makes it move. So this, if you scroll over whatever this is in Brawlhalla, it'll change. This will go over top of it. So that's why there are so many items in here. So we're just going to scroll down until we find the Brawlhalla's loading screen when you first boot up the game. That, I don't know what that is. That's pretty cool though. Um, this is all your weapon icons, achievement hunter skins, uh, the ma mammoth coins icons. This is stuff for the shop, uh, your regions. This, this is what it takes to load this is just uh, when you select a character. That's all. That's all that what this is. When you select a character, it's got like twelve frames for it. Uh, this connection stuff. It was in here, I thought. Cause I was just in here. If not, it's in UI underscore two. Actually, it might be that one. It's one one, one of those two that's your character lo lo loading in. I do not remember which. But it takes a lot. Okay. I'm just going to skip most of this here. Uh, let's see. It should be around here, actually. There it is. Okay. So this is what you're going to find. So each part of that logo you see is all right here in a different picture and you can change it and customize it how you want now. Now this is why I suggested you get, I totally just lost it. <laughs> I pressed something and I lost it. Um, this is why I su suggested that you get GIMP because that's going to come into play here if I can find it again. Okay, here it is, here it is, okay. Let's not screw this up this time. How, how, however, may slow, it may slow it may be, I will not screw it up. Okay. So here we go. Here's your cloud and everything on the cloud. 
Uh, we're, we're finally here. I don't know what this dot is. It's kind of weird that it's just a dot there. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to be putting also uh, on my enemy texture pack. I lost all progress on that when I accidentally formatted my PC. So yeah, we're restarting on that from scratch. Yay, you know? Okay. So we're go uh, to change this, to e edit this, we're going to. Okay, and this is to hoping that I can recover everything I just fucked up. Okay, so I just fucked up like over half of the half of this episode, so I'm gonna try and re redeem myself. Um, I'm gonna go into the brawl oh, hello modding. Open up JPEX because I closed it out thinking I was done. Oh my god, I'm just a screw up. Okay, so instead of editing this, because this is no longer part of the game, that was the whole plan to edit this with the cloud and the punchy fist and the the thing which they left in the files just to confuse me apparently. Okay, that's next. Uh, we're going to edit the other one that doesn't even exist it doesn't exist okay this one we're going to edit this one so we're going to um export this as a png i have no clue what i showed so we're going to export it should start out on swf or svg or something like that uh you just want to switch it to png so that you can and can use gimp on it we're going to send this out to Brawlhall, no, we're just going to desktop. Yeah, Brawlhall and modding. I'm going to put it here. Open. So now we shouldn't need that anymore. I'm going to leave it up just in case. Shapes. And yeah. I had this all done. See, I was doing the cloud and all that. No, it's all, all worthless. Uh, delete. That's not even, part, not even part of the game anymore. What was my favorite part of the game? Okay. But this should be actually be a bit better because this should stay on the screen the entire time. So I'm actually liking how this is going a bit more with how they changed the game. So we're going to file, open, and GIMP. I'm not teaching you how to use GIMP because that's not what this is about. So if I could figure out how to use GIMP, that'd be great. Um, Brahola modding shapes this. Let me put our text. I had it about 50 for the last one. That seemed to work well. I hit insert. <clears throat> it did not activate a Comic Sans, which is. Okay, disclaimer I have not seen or played Undertale, nor do I give a single shit about it. So. In that, that regard, do not message me anything about any any part of that game. I do not care. I like the font for this project that I am working on. So that, and then we're going to put about 50. And click over here to get out of here. Uh, make sure we select this. That is not... Nope. You need to click directly on your text. Or else you'll drag everything under it. And rotate tool to make it look lit. We're lit. All of you guys are, are if you're watching this, you're lit because uh, you're you're starting something for Brawlhalla. You know, I was the first. I would say Photo was the second. Well, well, Photo might. I didn't. He was the first sound modder, but I don't count Photo. He's a dev. You don't count, Foda. You don't count. Okay, m moving on. Um, so we're gonna do this file. Export as, cause you don't want to overwrite it, cause I would keep a copy of the uh, of the original in your brawl holla modding thing. Oh my God, words. So that you don't have to go searching through all that again. Uh, desktop. Mods, anime texture pack, shapes, delete this. This makes me angry. Ugh, delete, delete, delete. Literally, the cloud was one of my favorite things in the entire game. I can't delete things here. Okay, export. No, I don't want to export it. 
as such. File, export as. Where am I? No, desktop, mods, and the texture pack shapes. Export here. Yes, export. Close out GIMP. You no, no longer need it. Discard changes. Uh, it only does that because you didn't actually save anything. So then you're going to go down here, 3299, which is your thing here. You're going to right, right click down here if you're over here. If you're in the screen, if you're in the one with the grid, you can just right click on that. Right click on this, replace it with 3299, the one you just made. Make sure that is in fact the one you made in your texture pack folder. So do that. That will put your stuff across it. You need to save this. And uh, if you were a moron like me and were work was working on this Bro Hollow logo, wherever I put it, this one with the red bottom, it doesn't matter if you changed it, it can stay there because it doesn't, because it's not even part of the game. So, you shouldn't need this, I'm going to leave it up just in case. Uh, don't need this anymore. O open up your Steam. Play Brawlhalla. Is this showing up? It is showing up. That's good. And so you'll see up here at the top, you'll see your words going across it. I thought it was going to show here too. Uh, apparently that's a bigger and different file. So you can do do the same thing there. You'll just have to find it. I'm, I am going, in fact, I'm going to do the same thing. It is not here. Because I have screwed up enough for one day. Yeah, that is how you're going to edit your loading screen for Brawlhalla. And the basis for everything we're going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to take you guys step by step through what, what I am per personally doing for my own texture pack. Though, uh, I'm, I am going to go find, find, find the pictures and stuff on my own. Because that would be too time consuming. But yeah. I actually don't know what pictures I'm going to use. Because I lost all the ones I had done to begin with. So, um, yeah, and quick note, right here at the end of this video, um, the thing about Ma, Ma, Ad Am Brawlhalla, as it is not actually a part of the game, uh, it will, del all, all your mods will delete themselves, and all the mods that, of yours and anyone else installed, if they update the game. So, just note that your mods did not go away they are not broken well they shouldn't be broken um they just need you just need to reinstall them because steam just re, re I, I don't know what it does but it deletes all of your mods so yeah um that's it for today guys uh for this episode uh subscribe for the future updates of this and it, it, Anything else I'll be updating? I'm gonna stop try and start streaming, and I want to put more stuff on my y YouTube as well. So, um, yeah, thanks. It, you guys are starting something. You don't count, Foda. You don't count. But you guys do. You guys do count, unless you're Foda. So, sorry, Foda. See ya.